In this example, we want to find the derivative of the following function using the limit that you see here in this box. Okay. So first thing we need to do is, is to find the, uh, the, the expression for f of x plus delta x. Okay. All right, so f of x plus delta x is going to be x plus delta x squared plus x plus delta x minus 7. Okay, so all, we, all I did was replace the x with x plus delta x. Okay, um, so now let's go ahead and simplify this. Okay. So this part here, okay, this is, let's do that over here. So that is x plus delta x squared, which is equal to x plus delta x times x plus delta x. Okay, so this is a binomial. Okay, so you're going to multiply everything out. So you get x squared. Okay. So x times x. And let's use a different color. So x times x. And then we have x times delta x. Okay. And then... Uh, delta x times x and then delta x times delta x okay so we're going to get another x times delta x plus delta x squared okay and so this is equal to x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared okay all right so that's going to go here Okay, so we have x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. Okay, so then from here we're going to get, so f of x plus delta x is equal to x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus x plus delta x minus 7. Okay, so all, so this expression, okay, this, this result that we have here, okay, this is going to go, right, this is going to go into here, okay. Okay, so we have the limit as delta x goes to zero of x, x squared. <coughs> plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus x plus delta x minus 7, okay, minus the original function, okay. All right, so that's this part. So minus x squared plus x minus 7, okay. So again, you know, try to remember to put the parentheses or brackets uh, around the function so that that way it reminds you to distribute the negative sign okay and all this is divided by delta x all right so now so now we just need to simplify this and then take the limit so we're going to get x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus x plus delta x minus 7 minus x squared minus x plus 7. Okay, so just change, take the opposite signs of of this expression, okay? So you get minus x squared minus x plus 7. And all this is divided by delta x. Okay, so now we have, okay, so things will cancel out. Okay, so this x squared cancels out with this x squared, the 7. Okay, that gives us 0. Um, x squared minus x squared is 0. Delta x, well, let's see. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, so then we're left with 2x, okay, the limit of 2x times delta x plus delta x squared. 
plus x plus delta x. And all this is divided by delta x. Okay, so then we can go ahead and factor out a uh, delta x. Oh, sorry, so the x here cancels out with this x. There we go. So now we can factor out a delta x. Okay, so this is going to be. So we have delta x here. Okay. All right, so now we can factor out a delta x. So, by the way, so if something, so if you're not, if you can't factor out the delta x, um, if you, so if you can't cancel out the delta x value, then that means probably uh, there was a mistake up, you know, in the in the beginning somewhere. Okay. So usually when you're dealing with these type of problems, the uh, delta x should cancel out uh, with the one it should cancel out with the one in the number in the denominator. Okay. All right. So we're going to get delta x. We're going to factor that out. So we have so we're left with two x plus delta x plus 1. Okay, divided by delta x. So as we expected, delta x will cancel out. Okay, so we have the limit of 2x plus delta x plus 1 as delta x approaches 0. So this is going to give us, okay, uh, 2x plus 1. So therefore, the derivative, okay, the derivative of our function is 2x plus 1. Okay, that is the derivative of x squared plus x minus 7 is 2x plus 1. Okay, so that's how you, you can use the derivative or the limit to, uh, limit to find the derivative.